Hello, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Science, where we ask challenging questions directly to the scientists who are trying to solve today's toughest problems. I'm your host, Jennifer Fournier. Today, I'm going for a walk to clear my head. My current QC system's failing, and it's no longer being sold, so I'm in big trouble. It is long overdue, but I have to transfer methods from this old system to a new one. And while I'm doing it, I might as well look for something that can improve efficiency down the road. But what a daunting task. The need for continued support of established and validated HPLC methods can significantly outweigh the potential advantages of method modernization. There's got to be a better way to do this. So in this episode of Behind the Science, I'm going to jam, and I need to figure out how can I transfer my HPLC method without having to worry about the time and cost associated with revalidation. It's quite a mess, but I'm going to wash this mess right out of my hair. Hi, Eric. You're just the person I was looking for. Hey, Jen. How are you? Great. However, I am in desperate need of a new HPLC or UPLC system. Now, I really want to take advantage of all the great features of UPLC. However, all of my methods are in an HPLC system. What do I do? Well, I can understand your concern because it can be really challenging to transfer a method from one system to another, especially if it's validated. You have to start to think about differences in dwell volume and how that can impact the results. So what exactly does dwell volume have to do with method transfer? Well, let's use an example that everyone can relate to. Okay. So think about every morning when you take a shower and you first turn on that hot water. When you stick your hand in that faucet to check the temperature, is it immediately warm? No, that's because it takes time for the hot water to get through the pipes into the faucet and mix with the cold water to get to the temperature that you want. That delay that happens is very similar to the dwell volume in an HPLC system. So different LC systems will inherently have different dwell volumes, which means it will take varying amounts of time for the solvents to get mixed and carry that sample to the column to be separated. Matching or compensating for differences in dwell volume is key to the success of moving an LC method from one system to another even if you're not changing anything else. So this is great news. Basically, I can take my existing HPLC method and run it exactly as is on a system that's optimized for dwell volume and it'll match perfectly. That's right. But I still have one more challenge. If I think big picture, what I'd like to do down the road is take these long HPLC methods and be able to condense them into short methods. Is that possible? Well, you know, you're asking for a lot, Jen. You're asking for one system to run both HPLC and UHPLC methods to improve your productivity? I kind of am. Well, today's your lucky day. In fact, it can be done. I'm going to show you how to do it. Great. The Acuity Arc system with Arc multi-flow path technology was designed specifically to enable analysts to successfully transfer their established HPLC methods onto a modern LC platform while still providing the flexibility to further improve productivity in the future. By simply selecting between one of the two fluidic paths in the system software, the user can reproduce the results created on their legacy HPLC systems. Alternatively, a second fluidic path can be selected to improve performance by scaling that method with a more modern 2.7 micron UHPLC column. This novel technology essentially provides a selectable dwell volume to easily enable the transfer of LC methods from any commercial LC system mitigating the need to revalidate the assay by emulating both the dwell volume as well as the behavior of which these mobile phases are mixed. So, Jen, as we discussed, having two fluidic paths in one system really does provide you a choice of HPLC or UHPLC in the same system. That's pretty great, Eric. To go back to your shower analogy, it's almost like having two-in-one shampoo plus conditioner. You get the best of both worlds. That's true, but as you can see, I don't know too much about that. So let's, let's stick with the system. Okay, let's stick with the system. <laughs> but you're right, it's like having two systems in one. That's great. When I started this episode, I thought for sure if I changed system platforms, I would have to do a heck of a lot of work. I never thought it was possible to have a system that can be a bridge between existing HPLC methods and one that I can even use for newer UPLC methods. Talk about future-proofing your lab. Check out the links below to learn more about different applications using that two-in-one system, the Acuity Arc. And join us next time for another episode of Behind the Science.